All right. Um, I figured I'd revisit the uh, modeling a Y branch. If you've ever tried doing this in NURBS, you know that it can be quite time consuming and pretty difficult to get right. Um, so let's see if we can model one with the new sub D tools in the Rhino Whip and uh, see how it goes. So I already got a curve um, on the screen that we're going to extrude. And uh, distance 50, five zero. Okay. Front. So we got a uh, sub D cylinder now. I chose the output to be sub D. So we're gonna, I'm going to add one uh, edge to the, about the center of this thing. Yep. And I'm going to move it down 35. I've already tried this, obviously, so it remembers the numbers. We're going to array the cylinder around the, the origin, and we want three of these guys, yep. And I like to model in box mode, um, so I just, um, you can hit the tab key to go from smooth mode to box mode, um, and I also like to model in wireframe most of the time. So now we're going to use bridge to bridge in between these uh, surfaces. And I, I'm going to actually model the whole thing and then we're going to reflect it. So um, let's see how it goes. So we're going to select, pre select four edges on one and pre select four edges on the other one. We're going to bridge. Segments two, join yes. And straightness to zero. This gives you, this allows you to adjust the uh, curvature of the, the blend. And we're going to accept that zero. That's one. And then we're going to do the next one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Blend. And same settings. And the third one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, blend, same settings. Um, so now if I turn it to shaded, um, you'll notice that I'm going to turn on the control point. You'll notice that this is not connected. So we have to connect the uh, edges here and we're going to use stitch and we're going to accept just average here. Uh, that's fine because what we're going to do is we're going to use set point and we're going to move this uh, to the origin. I've had it to set X, Y, Z. And so now we can select this guy and that guy, uh, use the stitch command, and then we're going to bring that to zero. Now with the uh, 3D view, I know that these have uh, some creases because I've tried this before. So we got to remove the creases from the model, pre-select them, remove crease, smooth it. That looks good. And uh, let's change it to the top view really quick. Um, and so now I didn't touch the other side, but with the mirror or reflect command, we can mirror that over. So we want to reflect this guy across the X axis. And that's the point that we're going to use. So select that. And so now it's been reflected over. So now if we turn it on to smooth mode, uh, you can see that, you know, in just a matter of minutes, we were able to create uh, a smooth Y blend or Y branch with the Rhino um, um, sub D tools. And how smooth is this? Well, I mean, you can also tweak this if you have a different shape, obviously, because this is a sub D, so we can select the faces individually and move stuff around. Um, but, you know, the more organized your base mesh is, and that's why I like to work in box mode. In box mode, you can see the edge flow really good, and the more organized this is, the better your model will be in, in smooth mode. Uh, so if we put a zebra on this really quick, there are some really small artifacts uh, in the start point where all these edges uh, are coming together. Uh, but <laughs> in all reality, like if you've ever tried modeling this in NURBS, if you get a better result, then you know kudos to you. I think that is amazing if you can get a better result. And if you can model this in NURBS in a matter of minutes, then you are a wizard and I have no idea how you do it. Um, so with that said, I think this looks pretty cool. And uh, I encourage you to uh, try the new sub D tools in the Rhino 7 Whip. And uh, as always, happy modeling. Thanks.